always forgive me for all the things that I ever done. And you've been by my side through the struggles and the fears I had. Even the darkest one. And every time I touch your eyes, I feel like I'm just holding back because my heart's so glad. It don't matter what we did, you the wife of my life and the mother of my kids. If you the star, the wind, the moon, the rain, and the mountain, I'll give you the world. So as y'all know, like, I did a story the other day. <coughs> With my friend, um, Christopher William, Big Chris, you know what I'm saying, passed away. You know, he, he was shot in the head um, in his house by his godson. <clears throat> by his godson that um, was named after me. His middle name was, you know what I'm saying, because all of us, you know, connected friends, you know, went like the whole untouchable era. And um, right now, it's like things are so crazy, man, like with, with the story and what's going on with him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my friend called me. I don't know if he was, wasn't keeping it real with me or uh, what, what not, man. But I know about, you know, the call came in at 2.30 and Chris was alive on FaceTime. Then the call came in around 3 and it was... Chris's godson, who's named after me, middle name after me, you know, talking to his father, saying, you know, this is what I done. Showed him on FaceTime, like turned the camera around and showed him, hey, dad, this is, you know, I hear all this. But what I did hear was, you know, my partner, you know, of course, we going to let me know. I guess we ain't that close to partner, but he ain't tell me that, like, he left him and his wife and went over to the murder scene the police ain't called yet so he must have had told his son wait before you call the police and then they went over there and you know like I said I got cop on the forces on different forces in different departments that's my family relative cop relatives and lieutenants you know what I'm saying uh, uh, captain of uniform divisions, high, high rank, been in there for years. My cousins, blood cousins. And, you know, I'm hearing things. At Auntie House, cousin house, I'm hearing things that's coming from, you know, the department and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And from what I'm hearing is my friend them got over there before the police would call and start altering things. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I understand he's trying to save his son's life now. But you would put yourself in jeopardy doing things like this, you know, if this is true. You know, these are allegations right now that don't came to me on what happened minutes before the cops was called over to my partner, Big Chris House. You know what I'm saying? And they said that my, my other buddy, you know, get the, the dad of the murderer. And they start altering things, trying to make things look like it was a struggle. You know what I'm saying? And... <laughs> What's crazy about it too, you know, that people that know this, if you if you get a headshot, you know, just like you kill a deer, that's the purpose of killing a deer. It's quick, you're out of there, all muscles relax. That's why you get to eat the deer. A different than the car hit the shock of him tensing up. You see what I'm saying? He don't know it's coming. So all muscles are relaxed. So if there was a struggle somehow and my partner was shot in the head then why is he sitting as he's watching television like you know he's sitting up in a chair like this you know what I'm saying all this hip is, 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 is toe out everything is on the wall behind him you know what I'm saying that right there wasn't told to me that came later on you know what I'm saying and, and it, it's coming from some very prominent sources. You know what I'm saying? Even though you can't believe everything you hear, but this is what's going on right now behind the scenes on my, my partner murder, man. And, 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 it, and it's crazy how 
instead of trying to uh, uh, alter the scene on something like this when it's so close and unfortunate and it's your friend too. You know, you ate at his mama house, he ate at your mama house. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you just face up to it and go in there with mercy? You know, asking for mercy and trying to, you know, like that right now. Because it's the truth and it's the best way to go than trying to lie and move the scene around and clean up this blood and this blood splatter here. And then, man, the folk got that, 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 that light, man. They see everything, man. They see that blood splatter when you clean it up. They see all that stuff, man. And, and as far as him sitting, in a sitting position facing the TV like he was looking at TV it was like he didn't even know it was going to happen you don't you don't in a struggle you don't just flop down especially you get shot now you just don't flop down in a sit sitting situation you know a sitting uh, uh, position the, 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 the muscles leave from you no they don't even work no more they just go blank they go like baby like a baby it just go away, man. So you just flop down to the floor, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, it ain't no way you can sit up like you're looking at TV, man. You, you sit up like this. I mean, if you sit up like this, that's the way you were shot. Because everything is left. you right, you're going to stay in that same position. And so you can't move the body. You can't do none of that stuff, man. You just got to let it be, man. Take what it is, man. Like... This is crazy, man. And you know what I'm saying? And and like I say, unfortunately, unfortunately, he had an older brother that died the same way. That's what he cousin Dungeon Family, uh, Cool Breed, the creator, the creator of the Dirty South. His cousin. That's what he told me. You know what I'm saying? His older brother died that way. His older brother had a gun. His little son got him maybe like four or five years old. Got a hold of the gun. And as Chris' brother was trying to get the gun from him, he seen him with the gun, trying to get the gun from him. And right where he grabbed the pow, the little boy finger got on the trigger, four years old, shot his own dead in the head. That's Chris' brother. And now his mother is burying her other son, her youngest child, from the same way of his brother 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago. And, and this Chris, this guy worked at the hospital, man. He was not necessarily no drugs, robbing nobody. He wasn't doing none of that, man. He drank and talked junk, like we all do. Some of us talk junk when we ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? And even if you talk junk, man, still you, you don't deserve to die. We have to control our rage. Me, myself, you, whoever, man, we have to control it. We have to control it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's real talk, man. You know, I'm, I'm losing a lot of friends. You know? It, it, man, yesterday, I made a phone call to check on um, Big Chris's film. And uh, I called my partner, JJ. Trying to on, he didn't answer. So then I ended up calling... A OG partner from College Park, Big Phil. It's like Chris Williams' brother, man. Chris and Phil. Before I get into group Untouchables and even got a chance to meet Chris and be Chris' friend. Him and Phil, I already knew each other. Chris from East Point, I already hanging in the projects down in the old apartment in the flatbed. Shouts out to my flatbed partner. With Big Phil. I didn't even know that. Then when me and him meet in the group and we all hanging out, and then when we go to the old party and we over here with Big Phil and all my other partners there, they greeted each other. And, well, I got you. They they already was kicking it, man. I called Big Phil, man, to check on my homie funeral. And I didn't know that OG Big Phil, man, he was, he was just leaving from, from uh, Doodoo House, man. Doodoo is Big Chris' nickname, man, we called him. And he leaves from Big Chris' house, man. And nothing is not even cleaned up, man. man I, can, I, I can hear it in his voice. I don't even know where he is. I'm just, hey, man, she's like, man, I'm trying to see where the funeral, man. Where the number like that? And I'm listening to him. He's like, oh, it's, it's Monday, man. I'm like, man, Bill, you okay? He said, no, man, it's my brother gone, man. 
Like, for real. Like, yeah, man, I just left that. As you call me, Trees, I'm just leaving out the door. Everything is this way. Everything is still that way. Blood everywhere, Trees. Matter everywhere, Trees. I'm like, oh, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm sorry, man. It's real talk, bro. And, and, it, and like I say, it's crazy, man. And it's all from, you know, from rage, man. You know what I'm saying? At first, I was thinking maybe it was struggle, too. But I started thinking about who Chris is, man. Chris, is, you know, he, he'll get a little intoxicated. And, and, and he'll talk that mess, man. But when um, um, things get heated, man, and uh, somebody a little bit more aggressive than Chris, Man, Chris don't even want to fight. He, you know, he whatever, man. Like, you know, I, I done, I done had an uh, um, ordeal with Chris. Every, you know, everybody have their issues. You know what I'm saying? But a person ended your life because of words. can't do that, man. My partner gone right now, man. For real, man. And I got two more with three more friends, man. I got three. Like, listen, Big Chris funeral is tomorrow. Then I have a lady friend that, that's funeral coming up. Then I have another male friend that's connected to the lady friend funeral that's coming up. Stuff hurt, man. And then we got an OG from College Park that just passed yesterday. When I, I left and went to Disney, man, my family go to Disney World every year, man. On July the 25th, every year. Me and my kids, my wife, we left, we went to Disney. The day after my friend Christmas murder. My phone blowing up even while I'm down there in Orlando, Florida. And I'm telling everybody, man, like, like I'm not answering. I'm sending text messages. Ten minutes back, I had promised my wife that I wouldn't take no calls, do no shows, do none of that. That's why I bitch has been chilling. We went on vacation, y'all. I'm back now. And the murder had happened. That was weighing on me. Big Chris, Untouchables, that connection, East Point College Park. And I didn't want to talk to nobody down now about it. And I sent sent them messages, texts. Hey, hey, I went to family vacation. I talk to y'all when I get back. I'm trying to keep my mind clear. That's what I'm saying in the message to my partner. And then when I get back, we're talking about Chris' funeral being at the same church and being held by the same people as my brother, man. So now I got to go back to this building. I'm like, oh. And then in the middle of that, I get a phone call and a lady friend, childhood friend that's deeply a friend that's from, from the hilltop, from my set, that... No path that you know, a funeral have to go to, and then the the um uh, a guy, you know, said that's connected to her funeral coming up. Like this is this is so heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? Then a OG from College Park passed yesterday. When I get back in town, I get hit with these other three. Beside Big Christian, just before I went to Disney. Like, man, I'm over here, like, just, just, you know, trying to concentrate on um, my music, the the um, the paperwork for um, Prime Video and Tubi and the movies and me and Video Wayne, David Hempfield, the music, YouTube music. I got all my music lined up, ready, and ain't even put the covers on it and, and match to submit for YouTube. Like, like it don't, it don't never, it don't never leave from from around you, man. For real, it's always around you. Real talk, man. And my condolences out to all the families right now, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring y'all some specials on the other people in my life that passed away. Reason why the whole city is hurting right now. You know what I'm saying? So, thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Don Tree Snox, OG Black Bart. Y'all check out my memberships. Check out my YouTube shops. Make sure y'all like and share. College Park, stand up. I'll give you the world.
to the day that I die With a tear in your eye, tear in your eye. Oh, you always told me that you need it And there's no coming back Girl, I can't take that Oh, you always told me you were gonna be down for the ride Girl, you picked your side, you picked your side. Oh, this is Bonnie and Clyde You know we do drive by